Have you Googled where to move to in Florida or moving to Florida in the top cities, the fastest growing planned communities, or just Googled where should I move to in Florida? Then I am sure you are going to be familiar with these two cities. Today we are going to talk about Lakewood Ranch versus the Villages. And you really can't hardly Google moving to Florida without these two cities showing up. And that is because they are the fastest growing planned communities in the nation. Now there are some similarities and there's a lot of differences. We're gonna talk about location, we're gonna talk about cost, we're gonna talk about features, amenities, pros and cons, and so much more. To begin with, for those under 55, well, as much as I know that you would love to choose the villages, Unfortunately, that is not an option if you're below the age of 55, but we need to talk about both of them. And would it surprise you at all if I told you that The Villages is actually Googled more than 500,000 times a month? That's right, there's a lot of us over 55, myself included, that's always a little bit curious about this utopia of The Villages. So let's talk a little bit about it. Now, if you're not familiar with where the villages are located, it is about an hour northwest of Orlando, 45 minutes northeast of Tampa. It's really kind of in the heart of Florida. Now, there's no beaches that surround the villages, but there's a ton of golf carts, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. It actually encompasses 32 square miles from Marion County to the north, through Sumter County to the south and west, and then into Lake County in the east. The population in the villages in 2023 is a whopping 145,000 residents and growing. Actually, the growth rate in the past year was 7.5%. Now, to put that in perspective, the growth rate in Florida last year was 2%. So the Villages is definitely growing. So the Villages have been around for a few decades now. It was started way back in the 60s and 70s and really started taking shape in the 80s. Very smart business owner, really grabbed a lot of land here in Florida when land was easy to grab and very, very affordable with the vision of creating basically a lifestyle for the baby boomers, for those that are wanting a second home, for those that are looking towards retirement. He was bringing this amazing vision into the villages. And I like to describe the villages as Disney for adults. There are some similarities to Disney. First, the town squares are just meticulously landscaped. Well, actually all the grounds in throughout the villages are beautifully landscaped and you can't go anywhere without seeing beautiful flowers, sculptures, and gated entrances. The villages has many, many different neighborhoods, but it has three specific town squares or town centers, Spanish Lakes, Lake Sumter Landing, and Brownwood. And each town square has nightly entertainment. So whether you wanna listen to music, dance the night away, or just meet up with friends, it's very easy to do. There's also lots of shopping, great restaurants, just things to do in the town squares. The real joy of the villages though, lies in the ease of lifestyle. For instance, getting around the villages is really pretty special because most people get around on their golf carts from getting groceries to stopping by the bank, getting your hair cut, or if you're just taking a ride to go see a movie at the local theater, you can do this all without ever getting in your car. No more fighting traffic. And if you've been to Florida, you know that our Florida traffic can get a little crazy. So the thought of just being able to get anywhere you wanna go on a golf cart, well, that's amazing. My daughter jokes that they've really taken all the stress away from people by not having to drive anywhere, by giving you lots of activities to do, giving you built-in friends. And so The Villages has done that because it not only has nightly entertainment, it has entertainment every single day of the year. Whatever your interests are, you can find somebody else that has the same interest and a club or a group to join. So if you're a bird watcher, you play the ukulele, or you're into golf and pickleball. So there's a lot of golf and pickleball in the villages. And as far as golf, well, there's over 50 golf courses. And once you're a member in the villages, then you're a member of all of them. 
And for those pickleball lovers, guess what? There's over 350 pickleball courts. So you should be able to play just about year round. You may think to yourself, this sounds a little too good to be true. Maybe really expensive, right? No, not at all. The median listing home price in the villages this August was $400,000. And that's actually gone down just a little bit. And the median price per square foot is around 259. So as you can see, compared to other prices in Florida, the villages is really quite affordable. But you might ask, what about HOA fees? How can you have all this? Well, the villages doesn't actually have HOA fees. Instead though, you do have a CDD fee. And according to the village's assessment that you're going to pay for the bond, the maintenance and fire protection, and that's going to range between 130 and 225 per month. Okay. So we've dove a little bit into the villages and what to expect, but now we need to talk about Lakewood ranch because Lakewood ranch is not just for 55 plus and it is much closer to beaches. There's a lot more diversity in the age of people in the neighborhoods. There's a lot more variety in styles of homes. And like the villages, Lakewood Ranch is a master plan community and is the fastest growing multi-generational. That's where we get the diversity in age and styles there in the multi-generational community. So Florida has great options. Now, Lakewood Ranch is located off of Interstate 75 in Manatee County and is kind of a suburb of Sarasota. Now, a lot of people really like that because Sarasota is known for its beaches, its culture, its beautiful downtown. The size compared to the villages, Lakewood Ranch is actually 50 square miles. It's larger, but the population does not reach that of the villages. Actually, the villages population is almost twice as large as Lakewood Ranch. And Although Lakewood Ranch does not have thousands of clubs to join, it does have a very active lifestyle and it does encourage you to get involved. And whether you're looking for golf, tennis, or pickleball, you're going to find it. Now, one big difference is that the activities in Lakewood Ranch are not included in your CDD or HOA. And speaking of HOA fees, each Lakewood Ranch neighborhood, or they like to call them villages, their own little village, has their own HOA assessment, which covers that particular neighborhood. Now, some are as low as a few hundred dollars a year, others may be a couple hundred dollars a month. And as I said, Lakewood Ranch is made up of their own little villages or neighborhoods or communities, and they're varied in price points and what you get in each neighborhood. Lakewood Ranch really began its development in the late 1990s. And so homes that were originally built, such as in Riverwalk or Summerfield and Greenbrook, now these are the original subdivisions that were built between 1996 and 2002. And so now they're full of tree-lined streets and these few neighborhoods are completely ungated. Now the nice thing about it, not just the beautiful landscaping and views, is that these neighborhoods are closer to downtown Lakewood Ranch. And similar to the villages, is that Lakewood Ranch does have a few little town squares. We have the original Lakewood Ranch, which is located off a of University Parkway and Lakewood Ranch Boulevard, and then the newly developed Waterside Place, which is located off of Deer Drive. Both offer a beautiful dining options, shopping options, and ways to meet people and get out and be active. Now, I will say there's probably a little bit more opulence in Lakewood Ranch as our current home prices are higher than the villages. In August of 2023, the median price in Lakewood Ranch was 635,000. And this is very consistent year over year. So you can see there is a big difference between the villages and Lakewood Ranch as far as it comes to price. And we are seeing a lot of luxury neighborhoods springing up in Lakewood Ranch, such as Monarch Acres, Lake House Cove, Wild Blue. All of these neighborhoods are being built by some of our high-end builders, such as Arthur Ruddenberg, Stock Homes, Homes by Town, and they're featuring large yards and beautiful design features. And not that you can't find this in the villages, but the villages neighborhoods and yards are much tighter and have a lot more restrictions. These communities are putting in state of the art amenities with resort pools, tiki bars, pickleball courts, tennis courts, 
gathering spaces, workout facilities, so many things to do for people of all ages. Now, if you want Lakewood Ranch and you still want 55 plus communities, we do have two neighborhoods in Lakewood Ranch that are designed specifically for those active adults. We have Crestwind and we have Del Webb. Now, one of the biggest differences between Lakewood Ranch and the villages is that Lakewood Ranch is not a golf cart friendly community. Unfortunately, you do have to get in your car and drive to the grocery store and other activities. Lakewood Ranch is also known for its top rated schools in the state and so it does draw a lot of families to our area. As I mentioned earlier, one of the key draws to Lakewood Ranch is the proximity to downtown Sarasota and our beaches. Now depending on what community you live in, remember this is a large area, it will be about a 15 to 30 minute drive to the beaches. But if you'd like more information how Sarasota compares to the villages, be sure to watch this video next. Many of our cultural aspects of Sarasota also greatly appeal to people moving to Lakewood Ranch. For instance, the Van Wezel Performance Center, the Opera House, the Ringling Museum, and so much more are just 20 minutes away. And Sarasota does have a beautiful airport that's a 20 to 30 minute drive from Lakewood Ranch. And Tampa Airport is only about 45 minutes, so it's very easy to commute in and out if needed. Now you're not gonna go wrong with choosing the villages or Lakewood Ranch, and there's so many options to see and explore in both beautiful cities. If you have any questions at all about moving to Florida, investing in real estate, my team and I love helping so many people buy, sell, and invest here in Florida. So give me a call today, let me know how we can help. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.